Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Alright, Nazir, we're here at Little Vivec, finally. <clears throat> now that it's daytime. Are you ready? Let's go. I can't believe I'm having to wear these necromancer robes. I had another transformation. Is this book lying out here? The Wolf Queen. Wait a minute. There's something in the water I'm supposed to see. Hello. Well, hello there. What can I do for you today? Has anyone passed through the village lately? Oh, of course. We get visitors every now and then. You should ask my husband if you're looking for someone. He just adores talking to visitors. Can you tell me about the village? Of course, dear. I'd be happy to. But you really should ask Belvedere. He'll have so much more to say. <laughs> Why is this place called Little Vivec? Oh, such a... just... charming name, isn't it? It was all my husband's idea. He's so creative. And what services does the village offer? Darling Solis runs a shop by the village entrance, if you're looking to trade. Oh, and good. I'm told Balron offers lessons with a bow. Oh, all and right. Belvedere can tell you anything you need to know, of course. I don't know how he keeps all those facts in his head sometimes. Who else lives in the village? Naturally, I live here with my dear husband. Solis and her... Uh, ward, Albert, live in Solis's shop. Balran has that hut of his. Oh, and you must have seen our dashing DeRosa twins. It's so rare to see identical twins, is it not? And they're such fine young men, too. That's it. This place is little. I'd like to ask about something else. Ask away, dear. Do you need help with anything? Me? Oh no, I'm fine. You should ask Belvedere, though. He's always got something brewing, that husband of mine. Hmm. And who are you again? I'm Valina Rathwasi. You've probably already met my husband, I have Belvedere. not. He so loves greeting all of our visitors. All right, then. I ought to be going. It's been a pleasure. We're looking for Belvedere. Hello. Something you need, traveler? <laughs> can you tell me... <clears throat> excuse me, can you tell me about the village? I can. Why is this place called Little Vivec? Because we are a village of Dunmer on the water. And some found it clever to name it after another village of Dunmer on the water. Do you find it clever? I do not. <laughs> what services does the village provide? Lady Celise can offer you trade for any good you can think of. And I can teach you the way of the bow. That is all I'm afraid. Alright. So this is a Dunmer village. It is a village founded by Dunmer refugees. Yes. We tired of our treatment in Windhelm and moved south. That's understandable. Who else lives in the village? Lady Solis Andrithil and Albert live in Solis Trade House. The twins share a home, and Lady Valina Rathvasi lives across from the twins. Belvedere is also there, I suppose. Hmm. I'd like to discuss something else. As you wish. Um, really? 
Nazir. Nazir. Oh, so you're deaf now, too. I'm sorry. Forgive him. Let's get going. No, we're not ready to go. Have any visitors passed through the village lately? Yes, though few of note. Who were the ones of note? A curious question. More curious from a stranger. Who are you? I am called Balran. I hunt and fish for the village. Hmm. Do you need help with anything? Need? No. Desire, perhaps, if you think yourself a warrior. A group of bandits has been plaguing the woods nearby for weeks, sniffing for weakness. I made sure they found only arrows, yet still they linger. I cannot leave the village and hunt them if they are watching, but you could in my place. All right, then. Consider it done. Good. You have my thanks. I'll mark their last known location on your map. The leader wears an orcish helm. Bring it to me as proof. I will know if it is his. Get some more of this spiky grass. So, let's see, where would the shop be? Hello. If I met you. Ah, what's this? A new visitor to Rathvasi Canton? Welcome, welcome. Rathvasi Canton. As I'm sure you know, little Vivek's namesake consisted of floating structures called cantons connected by bridges. Lastly, it is only natural to call our island's cantons in their honor. It's just so wonderfully poetic, is it not? Hmm. And who are you exactly? I am Belvedere Rathvasi, leader and founder of Little Vivek and head of Rathvasi Canton. If you need to know anything about our humble home, ask away. Has anyone passed through the village lately? Many fine travelers have graced our halls. Are you searching for anyone in particular? Yes. Someone powerful. Hmm. Well, there was one gentleman who passed through. He wore armor made in Morrowind and carried a pair of beautiful blades. Naturally, I took his armor as a sign and offered him the position of Chief Ordinator of Little Vivic and my personal aid. But alas, he declined. Hmm. That thug Balron must have offended him. He spent entirely too much time talking with that guest. Zora only knows why. Do you need help with anything? A busy man like myself could always use aid. That's why I issue many proclamations to little Vivic citizens to make sure they're contributing. In fact, I have a splendid idea. I can't be bothered to spend all that time delivering proclamations. So why don't you become my official courier and deliver them for me? An official courier deserves official payment. What? The honor is not good enough for you? No. Very well. I shall offer you 50 septum. What? That's it. Absolutely no more than that. Now off with you, Korea. I have much business to attend to. Hmm. All right. 
right, so let me get to the the store. There's no one here. Great. Oh, there you are. Excuse me. Welcome to Salisa's Trade House. What can I do for you? Uh, well, actually, I have a proclamation for you from Belvedere. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Looking he can't something. even deliver his little ego droppings himself anymore? By Azuroth. If only you could sell hot air, we'd be the wealthiest village in Skyrim. Hmm. Have you had many visitors lately? I'd run a pretty unsuccessful business if I didn't. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone. Someone powerful. And dangerous. I'm afraid I can't help you. Sorry. I have a strict policy of customer confidentiality. Really? Surely. We can work out some kind of deal. Sorry, I'm a merchant, not a mercenary. What's for sales on the shelf? No more, no less. All right, can I see what you have for sale? Sure, take a look around. Hmm, they're not much. All right, so this is 67, 79. Ring of Remedy. I was really expecting a lot more than this. I'd like to know more about the village. Looking for gossip, huh? All right. What would you like to know? <laughs> Why is the village called Little Vivek? Ugh, by Azura. You had to ask, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Just hearing the words gives me a headache. Oh. You can thank Belvedere for that one. He just thought it was so clever. Everyone else hated it, but he pitched such a fit about it. You don't get along with Belvedere, I take it. No one gets along with Belvedere. We take him about as seriously as a mud crab. Well, not quite. At least mud crabs have claws. <laughs> Even his wife thinks he's a buffoon. Really? I guess she doesn't mind, and neither do the twins. Yes, both of them. I don't know, his wife seemed to adore him. Are you saying that was just an act? Who else lives in the village? Besides Albert and I, there's the twins Tarin and Torin. They handle a lot of our labor. There's Balron, who hunts, fishes, and protects a village. Valina's around. And Belvedere struts around like a Jarl. When if we had a leader at all, it would obviously be Balron. Bal's too shy to admit it, though. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, strong and silent. Of course. And what services does this village provide? You're looking at him. I'm the town merchant, crafter, alchemist, and healer. Balrun can give you some tips on using a bow, but otherwise I'm your one-stop shop, so be nice. Hmm. Really don't have much. Is this a Dunmer village? Well, that's why it was founded. We were sick of Ulfric Stormcloak's racist bullying. So we left Windhelm and got as far south as we could to start a new life for ourselves. We're not all Dunmer, though. Albert is Norn, but he's still my family. And anyone who says he doesn't belong here will answer to me. Well said. Well, that's all I need to know about the village. 
No problem. Glad I could help. Do you need help with anything? As a matter of fact, I could actually use some help restocking some supplies. What do you say? Want to make some quick gold? Uh, as long as it's more than 50, you may have a deal. Great. Here's a list of what I need. Bring me that and your 300 septums uh, richer. See, that's what I'm talking about. And don't even think about haggling. I'm overpaying as it is. <laughs> Wolf pelts, a mordnern root, and tundra cotton. And lavender. What else? Venison. What else? Alright, that would seem to be it. Um, why is your sword out? Alright, so I have lavender. Can I give her some things? Welcome back. What can I do for you? Apparently not. I have to have all of it. Alright. Let's go. Excuse me. Alright, I don't think we came over here yet. Hello. What can I do for you? Has anyone passed through the village lately? Selene's shop always gets good traffic, and Balron memorizes every face that glances our way. If you're looking for someone, you should ask them. Do you need... wait. Oh no. Nazir, really? <laughs> I have a proclamation for you from Belvedere. Oh, do you? Perfect. I could use a good laugh. All right, do you need help with anything? Yeah, actually, if you're looking for work. We're running low on lumber, but I don't have time to run to the Riverwood Mill myself. Mind dropping off an order there for me? No problem. Great. Just drop it off in the order chest by the mill. And next time you drop by, I'll have some septums for you. And was there someone back here? Yes. Supposedly a twin. Can I help you? Yes. Has anyone passed through the village lately? Probably. Can't say I remember all of them. Though there was this one merchant caravan with this imperial girl who was just... Well, you really had to be there. Mm -hmm. Do you need help with anything? That would be a question for the less handsome Derosa. He's the doing things guy. All right. Can you tell me about the village? Sorry, no time for tours right now. I've got a full docket of nothing ahead of me for the day. If you want to talk to someone, go find Celise. If you want to be talked at, go find Belvedere. Good day. You still got the sword out. What? Come on. Let's get going. We have to finish our mission here. Do I need to walk into this water? What? Is there something under here I need to see? So, who have I talked to? Who haven't I talked to? I think I've talked to just about everyone. Let's see, do, did I give you your proclamation yet? Something you need, traveler? Uh, yes, I have a proclamation for you from Belvedere. No. But. No. <laughs> All right. Hmm. 
All right, Belvedere. Welcome back to Rathvasi Ganton, traveler. Yes, I've delivered your proclamations. Well done, my faithful courier. You have the makings of a fine vassal indeed. I ought to get going. Very well. Until we meet again, fair traveler. Well, that was an easy 50 gold, even though it wasn't really worth it. You there. Child. Hello. Who are you? I'm Albert, and this is my best friend, Meat. Say hi, Meat. I don't see anything. Where are your parents? I don't see any Nords here. Well, my old parents went away. They said they were going to join the storm guys, but they didn't come back. So I went looking for them. I got lost. But then I found Salit. And she said she's like my mom now. And she's real, real nice. So I guess my parent is in the shop over there. And what are you doing? Me and Meat are playing a pocket dance. See, the whole world was apocadent by giant mushroom people. And now me and Meat have to seize the world by finding the three dogs! Hmm. Well, have fun. We will! I have to go. Bye! Alright. Let me go over here in the shadows and put on this armor. All right. This is much better. Okay, let's see where we need to go next. It looks like it's Moss Creek Camp. Huh? Never what should have come here. What? What is happening? Yeah, yeah. with a sword, but it's been handled. I'm still here.
we're looking for a helmet. It's like some mage was here. Not only was the person burned alive, but it looks like they've been frozen. Here, there's another campsite. All right, this is the helmet. Okay, let's see where else we need to go. I'll oh, get this man shot in the head with an arrow. There's a massacre here. Let's drop off this order at Riverwood. No, no. I should have known. It's just the wrong time of month for me. <laughs> up here at Ember Shard. No. A cave. Dark. Dangerous. No, I think everyone's already dead.
Sorry to have to feed on the pet. Still something up here. Over here. Okay. You should let me do the killing. This is it.
will skip the excavation as a werewolf this time. Get ready for a fight. Won't be much of one. Someone last mistake. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> circlet of omnipotence health stamina and magicka increased by 25 weapons do 15% more damage all spells cost 10% less and magic resistance increased by 5 Got more. You're good as dead. There you are. Lucky hit. The fool lets himself get surrounded. Was some pretty potent poison. So this must be the only place in Skyrim where you can get these grapes. I'll bet some of these mm -hmm. artifacts would fetch a good price. I hope they're not cursed.
was that? Get ready for a fight. They're wolves. They shouldn't harm us. But that thunder is another matter. Silver hand. Curse this chill. I should have dressed more warmly. I need you to carry this silver hand. I'm still here. Armor for me. What do you need? Let me know if you need anything. That'll do. Uh oh, there's a mage down there. Looks like it might be a powerful mage. All right, here goes. What was that? of money. that uh, woman wanted an ice wolf pelt or not. I think it was a regular pelt. What can I do for you, friend? Hmm. Not sure. This transformation must be ready to wear off at some point.
trying to give you a chance to get it. of things that she wants. Oh, we're back at that camp. Where I got the bandit helmet. See, I didn't eat these people, though. So it is these regular wolf pelts. I think that's everyone. I'm full. crawling mud crabs let's go what's this Come on. There you are. still run. Alright, let's get back to Riverwood. I'll change my clothes there. Can't believe it. All I wanted to do was make a simple delivery. And look what happened. I said something about the mill. What can you. I do for you, friend? What do you need?
We should keep moving. We should. Wow, I like this. Nobody can tell who I am. Can't even tell can I'm a help you? Let's go. All right. I'm going to work on tempering this uh, armor. Selling off some things. And then it's time to get back to little Vivek.